Welcome to video 135 in series 3 and now I'll set up the crowbar as an item. Okay, so I've uh, imported, I've downloaded and imported that uh, katana and crowbar pack and um, I've just dropped it inside my imported folder and uh, the first thing we need to do is to just change the material from uh, the legacy shader. Uh, so I'll just make it standard specular and I'll just drop down the specular color. Okay. And I think that'll do it. Okay, now there's a prefab already made, so let me grab the crowbar and drop it into the scene somewhere. And it is massive, as you can see. And also, its um, axis isn't quite right. Like, it's facing this way. This is the forwards. The x-axis is the forwards. But we want z-axis to be forwards. So this particular game object won't become uh the uh uh i guess the item itself it'll be a, a child object okay anyway uh let's uh, sort some stuff out so the scale like 0 0.3 0 0.3 0 0.3 i think that will be a, a better size and uh, i'll also just make an empty game object i will call call this actually the crowbar and this is just going to be the crowbar uh, renderer and uh just take it out and I'll drop the, that one in okay and change its rotation let me just see which way I need to go so I need to go that way so like 270 okay good so now what I've done is I've just made the crowbar face forwards it's a child now as well perfect let me just break the prefab instance there okay now I need to set this one up as an item so heaps of stuff to attach so let me put on like an animator. Let me add a rigid body, a box collider, and then all my item scripts. So if I go to that, let me just minimize that. There we go. Uh, master scripts. Oh, and also let me just lock that. Good. Item master. And then for the item scripts, uh, so I'll need a, a whole bunch. Yep, these, this, set layer, set position. I can put the set rotation, I probably don't need to because the animation will take care, it's going to have animations, and idle animation will take care of that. Item tag, item throw. Okay, so draw all of that in and set it up. So the animator is this one. Item name, crowbar, set position. Okay, so to figure that out, I need to put it on the player. So let me just take that, put it on the first person character. Good. Uh, right, now I need to relocate that. So to start with, let's put all zeros. Okay, so obviously it needs to be forwards. Let me turn off the assault rifle as well. Unlock this. There we go. Okay, go back. Okay, so point 0.4. We'll do like a minus point 0.46 and a point 0.6. Okay, that's about the uh, correct position for the crowbar. Okay, and uh, I'll actually set that here as well in the item set position. I'll put point 0.4 minus point 0.46 and point 0.6. Okay, item colliders, so it does have a collider, and this collider needs to be uh, set up as well. Oops, one moment, I'll just increase that to one, and drop it in. Okay, so now I have to set up the collider, it's just a pure box at the moment, as you can see. So let me make it really narrow in X, so 0.1, something like that. Uh, in Y, really tall, 2.2 maybe. Oh no, it will need to be bigger. And I'm just having a think about that. Maybe I set this to 111 and just set the render. Yeah, that's it. So change this to 0.3 and leave the crowbar alone. That's more logical. Okay, so Z as well needs to be changed. So I need to make that like 0.25. Okay. And I'm making the collider a lot longer. I'm going to push it up. I'm going to push the collider up. I'm making it really long for a reason because it is going to be used for the uh, hit detection, this collider, and it'll apply damage to the enemy. If it's only really short, the same length as the crowbar, it feels too short for the player. It's unsatisfying. They'll swing around, and it won't hit anything until they're right up next to it. 
like absolutely almost standing on it, which is not very fun. Okay, so I'll just put that as like 0.15. Uh, that's a, probably a bit better. No, actually, I can even move that a bit more. So, like, point two. Okay. Okay, so you have you followed along. Uh, so, the crowbar renderer, I changed its scale to point three, point three, point three. It's just the visual. This is only just a visual. The actual stuff is on the parent, which actually has the collider. This is the main story. And I changed the scale back to one, 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 just because it was a lot more sensible that way. Uh, okay, so uh, let me keep on going with setting up uh, these item scripts. Uh, so the item tag is item, uh, item drop, so the drop button name is drop, item sounds, I'll need to have a uh, audio clip, so let me just use jump, and uh, let me just use uh, rigid body, yep, put that there. Drag that in, good. Item thrown. Uh, yes, it can be thrown. Oh, I forgot to put the volume, so it's like 0.6 or whatever. And the throw button name is throw. Throw force, I think like 350 might be a bit much. I haven't set the mass yet, so I better go do that right now. So I'm going to put a mass of like 51, uh, just so that it uh, you can actually hurt the enemy when you throw the crowbar at them. So just for fun. Uh, item throw layer is item, and item pickup layer is weapon. Okay, and uh, let me just have a quick look over it again. So it's currently on the player, so it needs to be uh, is kinematic, and uh, the collider disabled uh, to begin with. Okay, so let me try it out now. Okay, there it is. Good. I can drop it. Good. Drop and I can pick it up, I can throw it, very good. Okay, so it's a regular item, oh, I forgot about those guys. But the uh, throw force is a bit low, so I'll probably need to ramp that up a bit. So I'll just go over to that and I'll put it like 600, and that should do fine, yeah, because it just felt a bit like it was a bit too slow and not going very far when being thrown. Uh, okay, so I'll just make that a prefab. So my prefabs, and I'll just put in here a new folder. Melee, and drop that in. Good. Okay, so let me just give it a quick run again. Alright, so let's throw it. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, good. So that's the uh, crowbar item setup. Next uh, video is to set up the animation for the crowbar. And after that, then I'll start writing the scripts. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.